Okay, everybody, in this uh, tutorial, we're going to make an image pop out of its um, its image. So um, we're going to be using um, a layer mask for that, a uh, elliptical mar or a rectangle marquee, uh, a quick selection tool, um, or any selection tool of your choice. So basically, we're going to give this kind of a more dynamic look, like a 3D look, like it's popping out of its image. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate, um, or we're going to uh, duplicate this layer. Uh, and then we're also going to create a blank layer. Uh, and then that layer will be filled with white. So we're going to go to edit fill and fill it with white. Perfect. And uh, we're going to rearrange these, these layers. So you should have three layers. I always like to um, keep an original layer just in case. Um, now this is a Spider-Man layer, um, Spider-Man image. And I'm going to have his head and his elbows um, popping out of... Um, like a picture frame or like a Polaroid, so to speak. So the first thing we're going to do is I am going to uh, make an outline and duplicate just the Spider-Man image. Um, so for that, I'm going to use the quick selection tool. Um, from there, I'm going to select Spider-Man uh, the best that I can, as accurately as I can here. I get pretty close to it now. You want to get all of them here. Now, it's not important to get this part because the only parts that are going to be sticking out of the image are the elbows and the... Um, all right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select the Spider-Man image here. Um, and where this one is going to be a little tougher. You can use a quick selection tool. So I'm going to use that. I'm just going to go ahead and select my Spider-Man. Um, now... You do need him to be, you need all the Spider-Man. Now my select, my image is gonna be a little tougher, some of the areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a rough selection like this, try to get as much as possible. And I'm going to clean it up after with a uh, with an eraser on some of these, but you gotta make sure that you get all of that in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command J. Um, and you can see the parts that I went over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that eraser tool As I reset the tools there, get a nice clean eraser, and I'm just going to clean up this part right here. Oh, I think it went too far. Make sure you don't want to cut off his fingers. It will ruin the effect. Get as good as you can here. I'll clean up Spider-Man there. Get this area right here. You don't want to ruin the effect. You don't need any of that city. Just Spider-Man coming out. There we go. All right. So we actually don't need to clean up. the inside here because it's going to be in the uh, image. All that's really important are the parts that are going to be sticking out of the of the picture. Uh, from here, uh, we can see I'm going to create a layer mask on that bottom layer copy. So I'm gonna take my rectangle marquee and I'm going to go ahead and draw my, like so and I'm going to create a layer mask. Now you can see it already looks like he is popping out, but I don't want him to be popping out of the bottom here. I want it to remain. So I'm going to go ahead to the top here, and I'm going to go ahead and erase the parts that I don't want to be sticking out of the bottom. Now, because I have it doubled, and I don't think I want this eraser either. I think I want just that arm and that head, okay? So I have his head and his elbow sticking out, makes it a little more dynamic, I think a little more interesting. Um, and from here, I'm going to merge these two, uh, I'm going to create first a little border on here. So from there, I'm going to add the layer style and I'm going to put a stroke. I'm going to change the outside to a little, not too white, okay? And I'm going to change the size of it like so. 
Um, you can even do inside if you want. And inside, there we go. Clean that up a little bit. And you don't want it too dark, but you want it to be able to stick out right there. Okay, so I have my little border now. I'm going to merge these two layers together. By mer merging these two layers together, I'm going to just go select, and you can hit um, Command E or Control E, and that merges them as one layer. Um, and from there, I'm going to create that little dynamic shadow. I'm going to add a drop shadow uh, to this image. And since I merged them together, the layer style, I'm going to hit drop shadow, and you can already see the, I'm going to change it to 120. There we go. I'm going to change the distance a little bit and the spread, and then the opacity to make it a little darker. And you can already see how it looks like it is floating. Just makes it a little more dynamic. Change the distance, distance too much. Spread a little more. There we go. Sweet. All right, great. Now, the cool thing is, is we can take this and we can hit Control T and we can resize it and we can put it in the middle of my document here, make it a little cleaner. Now, the great thing is, is we're going to have to clean up some of these things right here. So we're just going to go on that image and just clean that up. Oops, too much. There we go. There we go. All right. And that is how we make an image pop out of its own image to create a more dynamic look in Photoshop using a layer mask, an elliptical mark to key, and a quick selection tool. A couple of easy steps to gr create a much more uh, dynamic look, kind of like a um, cartoon cell, so to speak, almost like a comic book cell. All right, guys. So make sure to save your work and turn it in.